Hello YouTubers! In the world of motorcycle performance tuning, two prominent methods have long coexisted, carburetor rejetting and bike remapping. While both approaches aim to optimize an engine's performance, they differ significantly in terms of technology, precision, and the overall riding experience they offer. In this video, we'll delve into the key differences between bike remapping and the traditional method of rejeting carbs to help you make an informed decision about how to enhance your bike's performance. The old way, carburetor rejetting. Carburetor rejetting has been the go-to method for improving a motorcycle's performance for decades. It involves making adjustments to the carburetor's internal components, primarily changing the size of the main jet and sometimes the pilot jet. These adjustments are typically made to optimize the air-fuel mixture for the specific riding conditions, altitude, and modifications made to the bike. Pros of Carburetor Rejetting Cost-effective, carburetor rejetting is often more budget-friendly than bike remapping, making it an attractive option for riders on a tight budget. Mechanical Simplicity Carburetor adjustments can be done with basic tools and mechanical knowledge, making it accessible to DIY enthusiasts. Immediate feedback, changes in carburetor settings can be felt almost immediately, allowing riders to fine-tune their bikes on the fly. The downsides. Lack of precision, carburetor rejetting is a trial and error process. Achieving the perfect air-fuel ratio can be challenging, and it may require multiple adjustments. Limited adaptability, carburetor settings are static and cannot adapt to changing riding conditions or modifications without manual adjustments. Emission compliance, meeting strict emission regulations can be difficult with carburetor adjustments alone. The modern approach, bike remapping. Bike remapping, on the other hand, represents a more advanced and precise method of optimizing a motorcycle's performance. It involves reprogramming the engine control unit, ECU, or electronic fuel injection, EFI, system to achieve the desired air-fuel ratio, ignition timing, and other engine parameters. Pros of Bike Remapping Precision tuning, remapping offers precise control over engine parameters, resulting in optimized performance at various RPM ranges, temperatures, and altitudes. Adaptability, a remapped ECU can adapt to changes in riding conditions, such as altitude or temperature, without manual adjustments. Improved emissions, bike remapping can help ensure your motorcycle complies with emissions regulations while maximizing power and efficiency. Smoother power delivery, remapping can lead to a smoother and more linear power delivery, enhancing rideability. The downsides. Cost. Bike remapping is generally more expensive than carburetor rejetting, primarily due to the specialized equipment and expertise required. Specialized knowledge, remapping requires specific software, tools, and technical knowledge, making it less accessible to DIY enthusiasts. Conclusion In the ever-evolving world of motorcycle performance enhancement, bike remapping has emerged as a modern and sophisticated alternative to traditional carburetor rejetting. While carburetor adjustments remain a cost-effective and hands-on option, bike remapping offers unparalleled precision, adaptability, and compliance with stringent emission standards. Ultimately, the choice between these methods depends on your budget, technical expertise, and how deeply you wish to dive into the world of motorcycle tuning. If you seek the utmost in performance optimization and the ability to fine-tune your bike to perfection, bike remapping is the way forward. However, for those who prefer a more economical and hands-on approach, carburetor rejetting may still hold its appeal. Whichever path you choose, the goal remains the same, a bike that delivers the power and riding experience you desire. Now, if you're riding a 125 cubic centimeters motorcycle here in the UK, you might be wondering how to get more torque and performance out of it while still adhering to the legal limit of 15 horsepower. Well, here's the solution, bike remapping. It allows you to optimize your 125 cubic centimeters engine for more torque, which translates to better acceleration and overall responsiveness. By adjusting the ECU, you can fine-tune the air-fuel mixture and ignition timing to enhance low-end torque, 
making your 125 cubic centimeters bike feel peppier and more enjoyable to ride. The best part? You can do all of this while staying well within the legal boundaries of the UK's 15 horsepower limit. It's a legal and effective way to boost your 125 cubic centimeters bike's torque and performance. So, if you want to make the most out of your 125 cubic centimeters motorcycle while staying compliant with UK regulations, consider bike remapping to enhance torque and rideability. Thanks for watching. If you found this information helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more motorcycle tips and insights.